Hey guys, Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. I just finished up this shag haircut. I think you guys are really gonna like this one. Um, it's a nice uh, longer haircut, so I think that's something we don't do all the time. And longer haircuts in the salon can get a little bit boring. So here's a new modern twist on a shag. Uh, it's a really user-friendly haircut, so it's not too complicated for you. We take out a lot of weight, so people that are looking for a haircut that might work better on thick, thick, coarse hair. This is a great haircut for that. It does remove a lot of weight. Enjoy the video guys. Hit like, hit comment, hit comment, just comment. Let me know what you think. I would love to know whether you like the haircut or not and uh, who you're planning on doing this haircut on. And let me know what haircuts you guys want to see so we can create more videos for you. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna start off the haircut by sectioning. This is the simplest sectioning you will ever do in a haircut. Uh, so we're gonna take out a triangle from the front bang area. So basically from the recession point to just below the high point of the head. So I'm gonna say maybe three inches up uh, from the center of the head, you're gonna take that parting. Now we'll clip away, I clip away one side of the head and then I start off by taking my diagonal forward parting, cutting my guide at an exactly 90 degrees, so pretty much straight out from the head shape. Uh, the head shape curves forward slightly towards the forehead, so that 90 degrees isn't going to be straight up in the air, it's going to be on a slight angle forward. Uh, then I continue down the head shape using that first section that I cut uh, as my guideline, so stationary guide through that part. Then once I start to round um, around the ear, that head starts to peel away. I take out a section of that hair and that becomes my guide. So now, um, because I don't want to overdirect everything, because once you round too many corners of the head, the hair just gets too heavy and the layers just fall too flat. So um, just because I had that stationary guide doesn't mean I'm going to cut there the entire time. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So overdirecting everything up. Now, a big question is going to come up, how do you match up each side? What I did was I took a little piece from the back corner, uh, used that as my guide, kept my angle at 90 degrees, and that allowed me to keep a very similar length. Now, that doesn't mean you, want, you, won't, you won't want to go in uh, during the dry cut and uh, soften any layers or anything like that, but it tends to work pretty well. Okay, so there is, uh, just like before, uh, once I got down to the ear, I created a new guideline. Um, just by sectioning away the top and working from the middle down. Uh, now we're going to work into the fringe. Big thing with the fringe is you'll notice my elevation isn't super high, and I shift my finger angle down on each side. So I'm bringing everything out. I cut it straight at the beginning, and then just to add that angle into the bang area, I go through and just shift my finger angle. That gives me my angle in the haircut but it keeps the weight in there. So I could over direct everything, uh, which would also work, but sometimes when you over direct, you have to elevate and that takes out a little bit too much weight. So just shifting your finger angle keeps the weight of the, the bang, which I think a heavier bang looks great with a shag haircut. Uh, now I'm just going through with my vibra straight iron, ironing it out, um, working a lot, a lot of times with vertical sections when I'm ironing, so I don't crease the hair. Uh, so you'll notice uh, as I work through, and then I polish the top section, usually horizontally. Um, almost done through there. You can see the layers in the movement. The, the greatest thing about a shag haircut, as long as you don't make it moldy looking, uh, for your guests, this is a very um, guest-friendly haircut or customer-friendly haircut. Um, because it's just a lot of layers. So they could feather it back. They can wear it forward like this. Uh, there's so many different things they can do. Now we're going to hold the hair the exact same way that we did when we cut it wet. But I'm just going to go through and do some point cutting uh, with my beautiful Mizutani scissors that I love. Um, so go through point cutting, just softening those edges, and really just skinning it up a little bit. Because anytime you have a stationary guide, um, we were layering it through. Uh, we were elevating everything nice and high. But it's always cool to have add a little separation to those layers. Notice how I'm not going super deep and I'm also working very vertical to the way that I'm holding the hair. So I'm not trying to cut too many uh, chunks into the shape that I created. 
And the other great thing about going through and point cutting this way is just to make sure that I don't change or alter the shape of the haircut. Um, a lot of people will just start pulling hair up and point cutting it wherever they want to. Um, it's very important when you're point cutting to hold the hair exactly the same as you did when you were doing the wet cut. So you keep the initial shape of the haircut, but you're just going in and softening those layers. Now, I'm going to work through the back in a pinwheel section or pie shaped sections or pizza shaped sections, whatever you want to call it. Uh, work my way across the back of the head, point cutting uh, concave layers into the haircut. I like this because it kind of attaches, like, because we overdirected everything forward, it pushed all that weight to the very back of the head. So what this is going to do for me is it's going to uh, kind of skinny up the back, add some texture into the back, some shorter layers as well, uh, which in styling is going to make this haircut really come together. So you can see those little PC layers coming through. Um, Carve is one of my favorite products. I love, uh, it's a textured wax, but it's not super heavy. So I even like it in long hair. Uh, you can see how it just pops and those layers come to life uh, to create that kind of shag haircut look. Now, there are going to be questions. The bang is in her eye. I, for some reason, love having bangs in, in people's eyes. I don't know why, but you can absolutely cut those bangs shorter. Oh, actually I left it a little bit uh, opened up there. So if you guys like this video, please share it with your friends. Uh, I'd love to hear in your comments what you think. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Check out freesaloneducation.com for more videos.